Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, come back. Don't, don't sign out with that one. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey and Wine 101. I'm Marvin. And I am Vong. And we're coming back at you with another Woodenville hitter. This is long overdue. Yes. This is their 2021 harvest release. This is their straight bourbon finished in Muscatel uh, barrels. So this is their five-year-old straight bourbon that is then finished for six months and used Muscatel 200 gallon butts, I think. Muscatel, for those of you who don't know, is a fortified Spanish wine. So there should be some sweet influence. I was able to taste this at the distillery release uh, in September. This is our uh, Muscatel finished bourbon. This bourbon has been aged well, for six in. additional months in a 10 year old Muscatel cast. Muscatel okay. is a fortified wine that comes out of Europe. You're going to get a lot of citrus notes off of this. Oh yeah. A lot of uh, almost orange in the flavor and you get a more velvety finish. To it. Like orange peel? A little bit, yeah. It's got no actual oranges going in it, but you kind of get that as your mouth recollects that kind of flavor. Okay. Can we show the bottle? Sure. Or, or yeah, there we go. All right, so Woodenville Whiskey Distillery only. I'm assuming you got more than 500 numbered. I do have more than 500, but only 500 are numbered. Ah, so, so. you can get an unnumbered one, but uh, what number are you guys on now? Uh, currently, we are on number 233. Okay, I will be 233. <laughs> Cheers. Look at you go. Yeah. Bong unfortunately did not. I like it. I'm gonna see what he thinks. So let's get a cracking. Yeah, love wooden deal. So 100 proof. Um, this is yeah, 100 proof. 100 proof. Hi, right. cracker tacker. Fuck pop. Ooh. All right. So. Uh, Woodenville has a huge place in our hearts. They are a local distillery. They started in 2010. I have enjoyed every, pretty much everything they've released. Um, Bong's favorite is, what's your favorite? The Port. Port. Yep. And I know that uh, Woodenville is becoming more readily available nationwide. So let's check them out. Mm. Mm. Sweetness. All right, yep. so citrus, mm. caramelies, you get oak. Ooh. Mm. It's so sweet though. It's, I, you can smell the, the sweetness in there. Yeah, the aroma. See, yeah, see how dark it is? Mm. All right. Ah. So. Woodenville produces their stuff wow. here in Woodenville, Washington, and they truck their stuff over the mountains to Quincy. Oh. Yeah, for the hundred proof, this is sweet to the nose. Sweet to the nose. Good, again. Yeah. Wow. I love All that. Right. Cheers. The nose is good. Grape. Grape, grape, grape. Mm. I go with the plum on the nose. Citrus, citrus peel, citrus juice. Yes. Char. Yes. Sweet. A little bit of a little bit of spice. Oh, but it's so. It, but it's it, it's easy. Yes. No burn. Yep. Hundred proof. Just a little bit, just tingle on it, because again, sweetness and then, you know, the alcohol on it. So. Yeah, biggest yeah. notes I'm getting is citrus, caramel. To me, it is citrusy. Oh. Tingle on the lips, but not too bad. Um, wow. Yeah. And this is bo bottle 304. <laughs> um, wow. Mm. Bottle 304. Do you get? I got plums in there, I, or plums, or prunes, or I got. The, um, did you get marshmallow? No, I did not. Like a sugary... Oh, it's tasty. What does the bottle say? Mm. Yeah, 
All right, finishing, finishing process. So this is their. Wow. So, uh, finished in Woodenville, chucked over the Cascades to so the Barrel House. That's in Quincy, Washington, Central Washington. Uh, and then we transferred it into 200 gallon, 200 gallon Muscatel. Oh, my bad. Not Spanish. Portuguese. Portuguese. Muscatel is a Portuguese fortified wine. And then they say you should get notes of apricot and orange peel. Honey, I get the honey, the toffee. That's the big thing, that burnt sugar toffee thing, the sweetness, the candy, the marshmallow that I'm talking about. Uh, that, I think, is the toffee they're talking about. Yes. I get the toffee now. So, this is a distillery release. These were labeled or... Whoops. No. Oh, oh there it is. These are numbered bottles. They numbered up to 500 for the initial distillery release. They sold out within the first day. But they do have unnumbered distillery only um, bottles left. And retail for this was $69.95 out the door. Um, they ship within Washington. I don't know what other states they ship because, you know, shipping alcohol is difficult. Yep. But. I think this is definitely an enjoyable taste. I get the citrus. I, I get the yep. um, uh, the pitted fruits. For me, I'm not necessarily getting an apricot. Um, I didn't get that one either, but the, uh, we get the citrusy from the orange peel, I guess. But I, I, I do feel it's more of a... When I taste things, to me, it's more of the dried fruits that you would get, like dried dates and dried fig and dried... I guess you can go apricot or nectarine or plum. Um, and then you definitely get, I get the burnt sugar and marshmallowy. So that probably is the toffee that they're saying. Um, but yeah, Woodenville, it's a hitter. Yep. You know, you can see up there. I totally enjoy Woodenville. Look at that. Look Never at that. disappoint. That. That. Never disappoint. No. no, no. If I'm telling you. If you're ever in yeah. Washington, hit them up. Yep. They have some amazing bourbons. But yeah, cheers. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Keep it 101. Bongi on Instagram. 101 on Instagram. Follow on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Keep it 101. We're out. We're out. Mm. That was really cool. Yeah, it's good. Oh my God. Aren't you glad you got a bottle? <laughs> no, I'm so glad. I'm not. Thanks for watching this latest video. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube under Whiskey and Wine 101. Hit that like button, subscribe, follow, and I will see you on the next one. Bonus content. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Yeah. Dates. Dates. So pitted fruits. Got some dates. All right, so I'm going to see I have some organic dried dates here. Again, not sponsored. Got them at Costco. What? What? Sweet. So again, pitted fruits. I don't have any like dry anything else or grapes or blah, blah, blah. I smell that. Do you get that in this? Mm. All right. I did. I did it a little bit now. Wow. Mm. Not a lot on this one, though. Just a little bit, but yes. It has it in there. Does it mix? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. It does mix. So, yeah, I get Nicely. more of a dried fruit, pitted fruit. And I'm, I'm assuming that's the muscatel barrel finish that gives you the citrus and the pitted fruits because in their regular in the regular Woodenville straight bourbon I don't get much citrus so wow this is really good I'm glad I had a bottle yeah wow dates dates and bourbon it mixes who do I, wait who do I sign for signing my bottle Orland Brett and Orland thank you thank you Oh. <clears throat>
कार 